From our studios at historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Fee. <laughs> Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody, right here in the heart of rock and roll in Iowa, the Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association Museum here in the footprint of Arnold's Park Amusement Park, <laughs> and the executive director, my good friend Clay Norris, here with us today, hey buddy. Jeff, I'm good. You having a good summer so far? I am having a tremendous summer. I mean, I got the things I like: sunshine, mm -hmm. heat, heat. <laughs> we have yeah. heat and okaboji. That's right. That, that's, that's right. That's really the three elements that uh -huh. make a summer for us. Yeah, me. we need a little more water. We do you, <laughs> without screwing up our, you know, some nighttime pouring rain. There Wouldn't you that go. be perfect? Yeah. We always used to say it's okay for it to rain hard on Sunday night at midnight. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, you've got some huge events. I mean, you've got weekly events, but you've got some really big name, huge events coming up here in the very, very near future, my friend. Indeed, on July the second, and we had her here uh, just a, a kind of a collaboration with Arnold's Park. It was Arnold's Park show then, but Maddie Poppy, who is an, an uh, uh, American Idol from 2018, mm -hmm. and she is an Iowa native. That's what was getting my tongue tied. As I wanted <laughs> to say, she was an Iowan that is an American Idol. Yes. So she's from Clarksville, Iowa, mm -hmm. which is over by Cedar Falls. Yep. And oh, you went to that show, right? Oh, I, mean, she I, I was, was there at Christmas just time. Incredible. Not only, I mean, incredible sounding, but how she interacted mm -hmm. with the crowd was, it was just like, I'm an Iowan, you're all Iowans, we're going to have a good time today. Exactly. And they did too, the people had a great time. They did, and it was nice for us, I mean, one of our strategic goals, like we've said before, is to, we, we've really got three segments we, we reach. One is we call the traditionalists, and, and those are the folks that built this place, right? right. And we're always going to take really good care of them, that's what Rock the Roof is for, that's what all of this is for here in the museum. Right. But then there's the Middle Agers, which I'm, I'm clean on to a little yeah. bit but uh, you know the middies as uh, our intern calls it yeah. <laughs> and and so Maddie Poppy reaches those people right but then also the youngsters because I, do you remember there was that little girl and I remember taking her family's tickets at the beginning and the mom said Shh, she doesn't know what she's here for oh, all right and yes. it was her idol Maddie Poppy, yeah. and they sat right on the front row. Yeah. Well, apparently this little girl was singing her song, and Maddie stopped in the middle and almost cried. Yeah. That this little girl knew every word to every song yes, she'd she been did. singing, but that particular one kind of kind of got her. You yeah. know. So the, the my long-winded point was there was everybody from you know eight-year-old girls and boys up to eighty-year-olds yeah. at that show. Yes, so, indeed, and they were all equally entertained. And, and yes. delighted. So, so yes. it is July the 2nd okay. and tickets are on our uh, available on our website uh, and uh, you can get there several ways. You can go to our Facebook uh, and go and or you could just go to our website, uh, go to events, click right on that button. It'll take you right to our event bright place. Right. I think the booths are sold out, but there's general admission seating for $30 a ticket. Yeah. And it, I mean, gosh, somebody you know, an entertainer like that, if we were in Minneapolis, it'd be a hundred or more. That's right? right. So it's a very, very good bargain. It's July the 2nd. There should be a lot of people right. here. We've got plenty of room available. Uh, so come. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. But with the influx of the thousands of people be coming for the 4th of July weekend. Yes. Yeah, let's uh, let's fill that. Yeah, tell your garden. friends. And uh, it's uh, there's merchandise that she'll be selling. Sure. And uh, some of her CDs and stuff as well. Yeah, so and if you sing along with her in your front row, she might just stop and... She might stop and, <laughs> and talk to you. Yes. She's that kind of entertainer, yes. Well, and uh, that's not the only big show you've got here. Correct. In, in August. In well, July, yes. Well, even before I was executive director, uh, our board and others were, were trying to get this group here. And we wanted to have them here, gosh, last... Not this labor, not this Memorial Day we just had, yeah. but the Memorial Day before that. Right. So right in and Nicole, we all know what happened. Yeah, right. we yeah. know what happened. And they're called Seven Bridges, mm -hmm. and they build themselves as the ultimate Eagles tribute band. But from every review I've seen and listening to them myself. I would agree. Yeah. Uh, most tribute bands have a little bit of fill. You know, they would pre-record some stuff. Right. They would do whatever. 
everything you'll hear is live. Yeah. They assign each one of the people in the band. They practice and they play the role of you know Don Henley yeah. and Glenn Fry, and, Glenn Fry and, yeah. and all the rest of them. So uh, very very good. They're Nashville musicians. I know a couple of them have played with some re really big names in Nashville, like Kenny Rogers and people like that yeah. in the past. So they're they're awesome yeah. and uh, very they're national. They tour all over the country. Right. In fact, they're in Ohio or something like that right before they come here. Yeah. And uh, again, Seven Bridges, uh, the Ultimate Eagles tribute band, and they are July the 23rd. Yeah. I'll read you a quote, actually. This is a guy, his name is Ken Hadaris, and he's the president of Sunrise Entertainment and River Rock at the Amp. I'm not quite sure where that locale is, but a big entertainment company. And this is what he says. Close your eyes and listen to Seven Bridges. Wow, they could be the real Eagles, vocally and visually perfect. A great group of musicians who are consummate professionals, the ultimate Eagles experience. Wow. Yep. So, and I saw dozens of quotes like that uh, from, you know, different venues that they've played, amphitheaters, casinos, yeah. lots of places. So, so that great to get those reviews. And yeah. Certainly be great to be in the roof garden there in late July and uh, take in a great night of feel like your evening with the Eagles. Yes, and this bridges. show, you get a little bit of a discount if you will buy your tickets in advance. Oh, okay. It's $25 in advance, oh, good. Uh, $30 at the door. Yeah. And that's 23rd. Both of these shows, I believe, start at 7.30, doors open at 6.30 okay. in the fabulous roof garden. There you go. Air conditioned. Uh, air conditioned as well. Uh, <laughs> and you've got first ever a rock fest. Yes. And I, you know, you, uh, I'm sure you will put up the, your magic of television. <laughs> you will put up this poster. But uh, it, this is the first annual, we plan it to be annual, Lake Okoboji Rock Festival. And we know, those of you who've heard of 8035 in Des Moines, mm -hmm. I think the most famous one in the country is South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. They all started somewhere. Sure. And we have got such a great place for up and coming musicians to play. Right. The one demographic that we've quite honestly not done a good job, other than Iowa Rock's talent, yeah. which we've done a good job right. of, but we really haven't delivered things that like our kids would want to go listen to, yes. correct? So I actually got some feedback from my children when I first started. It's like, how do, what in the heck do I reach you guys? Mm -hmm. And uh, my oldest son, Andy, said, do a rock festival. Mm -hmm. So I talked with uh, Jeff Vierkant and the folks at Arnold's Park. Uh, and lo and behold, there was a grant that came available from Iowa Tourism. When I read the grant, it was just right there. It's like, how do we in the state of Iowa keep our young people here, have other people come yep. that are younger to Iowa to a uh, vacation yep. and so forth. So when I wrote the grant saying we'd like to do a rock festival, we got the money and Arnold's Park has a bit of a cash, cash match as well. Yep. We've gotten some good sponsors to, so, you know, because a couple of these artists are in the indie rock world, they're very well known. Right. Yep. Three of them are, and uh, those those are half loves from Iowa City, and they you'll love them because they they have this real '80s sound oh, to them. There you go. A yeah. lot of their videos they've taken right from early MTV oh. <laughs> in their style and stuff. So they're fantastic, and, and most of these groups all write their own stuff. There's a little bit of cover going on, right. um, but- For the but most part, these, you're hearing some genuine- Yeah, you're hearing their own music. Yeah. Then, so they're they're very well respected and, and have been on Audio Tree, and uh, they were, I think they and the next one, Elizabeth Moen, were both planning on going to South by Southwest, but that got canceled. Oh, and wow. they both have played at 8035, I believe. So then Elizabeth Moen is also from the Iowa City area. She's from Vinton, actually. Okay. And Elizabeth reminds me of sort of a Janis Joplin, Carol King, okay. uh, that sort of thing, yeah. Carly Simon, mm -hmm. um, but even a more bluesy, sultry edge than that. Yeah. And Elizabeth is a solo artist, acoustic guitar player, and uh, we're going to have her in the Majestic Pavilion because that just fits her style oh, better. Okay. Sure. And everything. So she's, uh, but she's a big name, and uh, same thing, audio tree artist, right. some other things like that. So and so the rest of the artists are going to be in, in the roof? Or, well, or, it's, or you, you got to look at the schedule. If you okay. put that schedule back up on the screen, okay. you'll see that 
it alternates. Okay. All right. So we're going to have some people on our patio. So they're mostly uh, local regional people that we're going to have on the patio. Right. And then the bigger artists or more well-known artists are going to be in either the roof garden or the Majestic okay. Pavilion. And So you can travel around the campus yes, here. That's right. And one wristband gets you into everything. Wow. Now, if you choose just to come to the patio, you, you don't have to pass. Okay. But you won't get to see Elizabeth Moen or the, or the half, or half Loves or this next lady. Okay, this young lady's name is Joss. Jocelyn. Jocelyn's from Omaha. Mm -hmm. She actually has more likes and things on social media than the other two do. She's got more of a pop sound to her. Mm -hmm. um, she has, gosh, she was the artist of the year, something like that, from Omaha. And she has opened for Hootie and the Blowfish. She's oh. opened for Bear Make Naked Ladies. Sweet. Uh, she's an EMI recording artist. So, um, so she's, she's got some good credentials. She's got some really and some good pipes. Yeah, uh, you will really enjoy hearing Jocelyn. Very good. Uh, then we've got some other groups uh, the, to talk about that are just you know wonderful. Been there, done that is a one of our Iowa Rock Talent Champions. They are from the Quad Cities area. They're oh. an all-girl group, okay. and they are playing all over the state, including the state of Illinois, and are just. The crowds love them. You'll love them. Yeah. They are kind of a, you know, I, I only think of it like, like the Go-Go's or the Bangles. Oh, sure. You okay. know, yep. in modern time. Yeah. All right. Then we've got these folks are, they just make me smile to listen to them. Uh, you've obviously, many of you have heard the song Wipeout. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and the songs from that era that was surf rock. Yeah. The da na 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 yeah. Okay. Well, that's what the surf zombies play, but they write their own stuff. Oh. And they don't sing a lick. They just play screaming guitar stuff with, Sweet. and all their songs have names that I don't know why, <laughs> you know, this is heavy drinking, you yeah. know, or whatever. And, <laughs> and there you go. So, but, but they're, um, they're really incredible. They're from Cedar Rapids, I believe. Mm -hmm. Then we've got the Ruralists, and the Ruralists, actually one of the guys is a music professor at Dort. Oh, and uh, so they that's pretty cool. They're very popular and they're from Sioux Center, but all those um, colleges in that area. So all of those um, uh, GMAC schools over there, you know, Morningside, yeah. Yeah. Dort, Northwestern, yeah. that region, they play all around. Oh, fun. And they contacted us saying, hey, we heard about this because they're friends with Half Labs. Well, sure. And uh, so I'm, I'm anxious to hear them. Then there's also locally, we've got uh, triple shot oh, yeah. and triple shot has uh, uh, got um, uh, Carter uh, who's the son of Gary Lambert so yeah. we've got Carter Lambert yeah. and uh, we've got um, gosh um, why am I blanking right now <laughs> but uh, they're Milford kids yeah. so we've also got Lexi Duffy yeah and I'm trying to think of the third well, one and, and, the and I've one. interviewed them all and uh, yeah I'm, yeah Sorry, you guys. It's live television, sort of. It's it's like it's like Stephen Colbert recorded live. Yeah, recorded almost live. live. Uh, then one other is more or less, and then I'll be finished here. But more or less is another connection to the Lambert. So Wendy, yes. that sings. This is Wendy's daughter, oh, okay. and another uh, partner that sings with her, wow. and uh, they are from the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. And they're actually going to open the whole thing on the patio. Okay. Uh, and, and that starts on the 24th. So more or less, we'll start on our patio at 1030. All right. And then triple shots at 1130. And then been there, done that is in the ballroom at 1230. Jocelyn is in the pavilion at 1. Serve zombies at 145 in the ballroom. Uh, La Raza, oh, I forgot to mention them. Sorry. La Raza is, uh, you know, Karina Van Wy and uh, two gentlemen, one's from Barbados and one is from um, Argentina. Okay. And uh, they are very, very good local trio. So they're at 2.30 in the pavilion. Jocelyn sings again because she had more than 45 minutes worth of music. Okay. So we've got her in two sessions, so she'll be in the roof garden. Then Elizabeth Moen will be in the pavilion at 3.45. 4.30 will be the ruralists. Yeah. And then 5.30 will be half loves. 
And then 6.30, been there, done that, wants to play some more. Oh. So they're going to come back to the patio. Okay. And then, <laughs> if that is not enough, uh, the park is going to have Pet Rock. Oh, awesome. Which is a great 70s and my kind of songs. Not that I don't love all of the you know, Journey and, and Kansas and Foreigner and right. stuff, but yep. they sing all the Andrew Gold and, yeah. you know, stuff that I really like. Right. And some disco, believe it or not, <laughs> some things like that that are big 70s pop songs, yeah. and then they'll do the fireworks. So it's going to be, you know, when you think about the seven bridges on Friday night going yeah. through Pet Rock and all the things we've got in between, uh, that's a lot of music for what free plus 15 bucks yeah it's 20 dollars at the door uh, you know but if you order a wristband on our website uh we will just have them to pick up at the museum oh, okay. or at the door yeah. it'll be a will call deal a will call yep. and uh, you'll, just like anything else you would get your little voucher from eventbrite you'd hand it to us yeah, so we'd exactly. give you a wristband we'll be here waiting for you, you. Know, so we'd, you'd, you'd save a little bit of money by doing that early or you could just go ahead and buy it that day very good and before we go just uh of course Rock the Roof Thursday nights. Yes. And yeah. Yep. And and then we'll have some other, the Maddie, Poppy, and Seven Bridges fit into another series we're calling Rock the Park. And that just means we could do anything. Right. It's kind of our, so we do have some free preservation plaza concerts. So look at our website okay. about those. And then we have Rock the Patio, like in a few minutes, actually, of recording this, uh, about another couple hours. Well, a few minutes they'll be coming. We're going to have Melodies here. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Melodies of Okaboji. And then we've got Starfire tonight. This is Thursday when right. we're recording it. And they will be at the ballroom. So we do have things like that going. A lot of Rock the Patio shows, yeah. which you could check out. And uh, and then the museum is open. And we've been getting really good traffic. Uh, yeah. There was one day. I couldn't believe it, honestly. But I had nothing to measure it against <laughs> except nothing yeah. last year. But um, we had 400. 185 people in here uh, the Friday before Memorial Day. Yeah. And we're averaging probably 150 or so per day. Well, and as we're knocking on the door of the 4th, uh, I think you can expect yeah. that number yeah. to keep and going. And what everybody, yeah. what, what Patsy and Maddie tell me is, hey, we haven't really gotten started because, yeah, July and August are the big... That's our big Okaboji time. Yeah. That's right. Very good. Uh, of course, Iowa, Iowa, or Rock, Iowa Rock, the letter N, roll.com. Roll. Com. Correct. And then usually doesn't take me that long to no, spell that out. No, and then Facebook or Instagram, you can just search for us. For you know, I can't remember the at whatever, but it I, you just go, especially on Facebook, yeah. and just go plug in Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association. We're updating that all the time. Okay, and uh, that's probably one of the most current ways to get information. Yeah. We tr we're trying to keep better pace of the website. That just takes a little longer yeah, to update. Exactly. Well, social media today, it's all at your fingertips. That's and right. Just have to work at it. So, yep. all right, my friend. Well, thank you for the update. Thanks for all the great music coming to the Iowa Great Lakes. Hey, and, we're uh, glad to provide it, and we're so thankful to partner with Arnold's Park. They have got some incredible stuff coming. I, I couldn't believe the Beach Boys are coming. Uh, the Grassroots are coming. Yeah. Uh, Head East is coming. Quiet Riot is coming, among others. So it's going to be a, a blast around here. Yeah, and we've got lots to go for the summer of mm -hmm. 2021. Clay Norris, thank you for being here with me, my friend. Thanks. Always good to see you, Clay Norris, see you too. The, the executive director here. Of course, uh, Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association. We thank him for taking a few minutes with us. We thank you for keep rocking and rolling right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by the headquarters of the University of Okaboji is at the Three Suns, open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sunday from 10 to 4. The Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake. Pure Fishing in Spirit Lake. Last Touch Painting and Cleaning, providing interior, exterior, house painting, and professional cleaning services in Spirit Lake. Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services. Advisor Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Wachholz. Duckies Marine and Motorsports, repair in Spirit Lake. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Ruth Van Locker at the Lake, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. B Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. 